Okay, now here's the second of our playable characters. Scott Shelby, the private dick. Actually my favourite character, he's pretty cool. A bit gruff, a bit sarky, but unlike Ethan, he takes charge and gets shit done. Oh, definitely. He's the type of guy to not take any shit from anybody. And I mean, just look at him rocking that Humphrey Bogart look with the trench coat there. No, I don't, I don't know how private detectives work, but I imagine it's mandatory to rock one of those coats when you become one. Been looking for weeks. Hope I hit pay dirt this time. I keep forgetting to absorb my character's thoughts. Guess I better take the stairs. Men at the desk gotta be able to help. Okay, that should do us for another few hours. Now I never need to check again. <laughs> Lauren Winter. Ring any bells? Nope, can't say it does. Well, would this imitation dollar oh, bill change your mind? Third floor, last door on the left, at the end of the corridor. Should have just said the password's Lincoln. <laughs> Would you like to meet my good friend, the President? God, this place looks grimy as fuck. It's the kind of place one goes to for solicitations. Mm. Not precipit. I can't even say that word you said earlier. <laughs> Precipitations. That's the one. Lauren Winter. Sorry, I only see clients by appointment. Well, that's good because I have an appointment. Wait. It's fifty bucks. I don't kiss, and I don't do any weird shit. I don't play I David Cage it. games, is what I'm saying. <laughs> I, I don't care if you tip me a $200 bill. It ain't happening. Put your money on the table. You got exactly ten minutes when the alarm rings, it's over, okay? I have to say, Lauren, her voice actor, is probably one of the worst in the game. Yeah, I remember how bad it was. I'm not sure if it was Lauren herself, but a, a character who looked extremely like her was in the prototype for Heavy Rain. It was like a woman in a kitchen, just sitting and talking to you, and then she like gets out a gun and points at the camera. Do you remember that? Oh, yes! Yes, I do. It, it had some of the most creepy, uncanny valley facial animations I've ever seen. It was not nice to look at. I came here just to ask you some questions about Johnny. Question one. Can you do origami? <laughs> Question two. Are you a killer? Uh, I'll be compassionate. I understand, Lauren. I know what you're going through. Oh, yeah? You know what it feels like to find your own son's body on a wasteland? <sighs> Shit. I, don't believe you have I could probably compare the circumstance to the time I found my kitten dead in the alley next to my house, but that might be a bit insensitive. Probably best to try the subtle approach. The killer is walking around free as we speak. He'll kill again if he's not arrested. Hey, Johnny's dead, so what difference does it make? Okay, fuck salty. Massively shady. Go, go, go. If we don't find the killer, there'll be other mothers who find their son's body on a deserted wasteland. But, but, but you're right. Why should you care? It's not your problem anymore, right? That's not really a trick. It's more of a guilt trip than anything. Yeah... What do you want to know? I'm going to just turn away from you while I ask these questions. I can't bear to look at you. <laughs> You're the scum of society. Scott's real character comes to the fore. But it didn't seem to make any sense. I don't believe any of my clients could have done that. To my Johnny. God, the eyes are just dead. For a man so hooked on emotion, the eyes have barely any. Yes. It's quite scary. Of course, I made sure he never met any of my clients. Man, these are some nice oranges. Or maybe peaches, I can't tell from here. The lampshade's looking pretty good. I was trying to earn enough to get us out of here. God, she just keeps going on and on and on. 
Do you want one? No thanks, I quit. That's brave. <laughs> I don't know how he knew that was a cigarette because I wasn't looking at it. He just knows the familiar smell and the rustle of opening a packet. Tell me about Johnny. I wanted to go to the loo while I was questioning him. <laughs> Sometimes he fought with other kids who called me a, you know, a hoa, <laughs> a lady of the evening. Tell me about Johnny's father. Is he out this window? I'm terrified of Johnny's father. After a few drinks, he left the day Johnny disappeared. I ain't seen him since. Coward. Good thing you left. Time's up, Mr. Shelby. I hope you got what you wanted. That was not Did ten minutes. <laughs> this is the heavy rain universe, mate. We read our mail and it skipped forward like half an hour. Very true. Well, this has been engrossing. Tatty boy. I would like to leave now. I'm not even sure if this is the door. The camera's not great. There we go. <laughs> Found it eventually. Right, and away we go. Very slowly. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. Scott here is uh, an asthmatic. Finally a game character I can relate with! Gonna say, how many tablets do you need to take? Not tablets. That's an inhaler. You know what I mean. There's tablets in the inhaler. No, there isn't. It's usually a spray. <laughs> Whatever, DJ. <laughs> this game doesn't need to conform to your rules. Oh, a dodgy man! Oh no, you opened the door too fast. Up. <laughs> What do you want, asshole? <laughs> I want to see what's going on, Stone Cold Steve Austin. <laughs> She's just swell. Now beat it, loser. Yes, fight scene. Kick open that fucking door. Let's rumble. If you're looking for trouble, you found it. I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. This guy's voice acting is amazing. Oh, I got it wrong. No. Yes. Oh. It's like Battle of Z up in here. <laughs> this is so silly, but I'm actually enjoying this. Trying to shiv me over here. Uh. Had a nice little waltz in the middle of the room then for a second. Oh god, please don't let me go through the window. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen the fight scene go on this long. No, I was just about to say. It's quite interesting. What, I don't even get to land the final blows myself? I'll see you again, asshole. <laughs> and next time, there'll be thousands more QTEs. Are you alright? Better than him, I guess. Who is he? An ex-client who thinks he owns me. He was getting violent, and I told him I didn't want to see him anymore. And of course, since she's a prostitute, the police won't help her at all. Probably be back. Sorry about the mess. Mr. Shelby? Yeah. Thanks. For wrecking my apartment. Oh. <laughs> Just the dismissive... 
yeah, whatever. I'm going to go smoke. But I thought you quit. I'm taking it up again. <laughs> I'm too old for this shit, etc. <laughs> you know, if he was still alive, I would want Leslie Nielsen to play Shelby in a live-action adaptation of Heavy Rain. Oh, man, yes. Here's our third playable character, Norman Jaden. He's a nice contrast to Scott, uh, because while Scott's old school and whatnot, Norman has a ton of gadgets at his disposal because he works for the FBI. Bit of a futuristic detective. Scar on his cheek like a bad motherfucker. He's seen some shit, man. Yep. Just look at those eyes. <laughs> Actual emotion. Yeah, I know. Also, when he says his name, it sounds like Nam and Jaden. The best voice work. The best. There is a reason why I keep showing the amount of rain that's fallen. I won't give too much away, but let's just say shit won't get real until that precipitation is weighty. Always sets a rather somber mood arriving to a crime scene uh, in the pouring rain, and it is a bit of a cliche, but you know, it works, so why not go for it? Um, and whilst we're here, we've got Norman on the scene, um, who seems to be a bit more into the specifics than Shelby. Um, he's a bit, you know, OCD possibly, he's certainly got that um, neurotic sense about him as you'll see as he wanders around the scene and just spots all the little niggles that uh, come out of him. <laughs> yeah, so well, Scott may be my favourite of the playable characters, I think Norman is the one I can relate to the most, apart from his little problem, which we'll be seeing in due time. The zone is sectioned off, sir. Please step back. Agent Norman Jaden. FBI? Now I'm in Jaden, the first of many? <laughs> yeah, of course. Okay, there you go. The swivel ones I have a bit of trouble with. Check. You can pass. That's your library card, but I'll give you benefit of the day. <laughs> Lieutenant Blake. Is he around? I saw him arrive earlier. He's here somewhere. Thanks. We are now officially on the scene. Dun dun dun! Let's go find Carter Blake, the asshole. Deal with it. Yeah! Video memo recording. Agent 47023, Norman Jaden. Yeah, I, I said at the beginning, um, Heavy Rain is more dad to Earth. I was just gonna say, what part of this is normal and down to Earth? In comparison to Indigo Prophecy and Beyond Two Souls. Okay, I'm pretty sure Batman can do all this stuff in the Arkham games. Unrelated to the investigation. Huh. Even had his credit card information. That's weird. Damn. Well to be fair, the FBI probably know quite a lot of information considering that they're the you know the central bureau for all this shit. Some orchid pollen. The concentration of pollen in the air is quickly decreasing because of the rain, but it gets higher in the direction of the body. Herbologists take note. Well, it would appear that this gentleman tiptoed through the tulips at some point in the last 12 hours. Hey, you there! What are you doing? Ah, uh, yes, that uh, high pitched, annoying tone. You must be Blake. Lieutenant Blake? I'm Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI. Norman Jaden? What kind of name is that? Now if you're looking for rain, dead bodies and highways, you come to the right place. We got it all here in heavy quantities. Stop for five minutes, I can't hear myself think here. Right away, Lieutenant. Well, are you coming, Jaden? Don't mind me. Just gonna let this officer clip through my body. So, what happened? Some guy taking his dog for a piss found a body about six o'clock. Can you walk morning. faster? So much more right like now. seriously, the camera can't it's seem to keep up with you. Like <laughs> what is it doing? <laughs> Any news on the coroner? He's on his way, Lieutenant. We've been waiting I, for I, I, I don't know if I'm cut out for LPing anymore. 
<laughs> I, I just can't take the alternate character interpretations the LP has forced on me. <laughs> Ethan's depressed and incompetent. Scott Shelby is compassionate. Decent fire. Getting back into smoking, which is unfortunate. <laughs> Not good for his condition. Any witnesses? None yet. Given the neighborhood, I'd be surprised if anybody saw anything. Tony, I don't want to see a single shit stirring journalist within a mile of here. You got it? You see a single <laughs> Daily Mirror, you open fire. <laughs> leads? Well, sir, what about the sun? Fuck him. Fine tooth comb. If the killer left anything behind, we'll find it. There are a lot of people on the crime scene. Aren't you afraid your men might destroy some clues? You don't find proof sitting behind a desk. Yes, you do. It's called a computer and Google search, you asshole. Sorry. Very unprofessional of me. That just kind of slipped out. Deep breaths, Tom. Deep breaths. Come on, man. I'm trying, man. I'm trying. I'm a little busy here. Why don't we discuss all this a little later? Back at the office. Oh, no problem. I understand. Do you mind if I have a look around? Be my guest. But if you see a single shit stirring journalist and you don't shoot him, then you're on my shit list. I'll fucking have you. Twat. And then just nuts him as he walks past. Because apparently this guy is Ross Kemp. In my head. Sample of no interest. Comes from one of the policemen present on the wasteland. Ha! Huh. So much for not contaminating the waste ground, Blake. Oh, let's go check out that dead body now. Oh yes, that dead body, the one we spotted earlier, yes, that one. Well, we were going to investigate it, and then Blake comes along and is all like, mm -hmm. I can't come up with a funny joke, I'm sorry. <laughs> What, can't you step in puddles? Harry, comment. The victim is lying on his back. No visible signs of violence. Apart from the fact that he is dead. <laughs> An orchid was placed on the victim's chest. This is so close to Arkham Asylum, it's actually a bit jarring. <laughs> Which came first? Well, you're the one with Google search, my friend. A small origami figure in the right hand. As he was dying, he was folding this into the shape of a crane. And he's on a building site! Hmm! Oh, the other type of crane, sorry. What about? Like the other victims. Superficial wound rain. I'm right having to put thigh. game at the end of this search well, just so that I don't actually get the precipitation form wound. of heavy rain on <laughs> Google and I'm just like, well I know when that came out, it was last week. The blood report indicates an advanced and long lasting state of exhaustion. <laughs> no, no, it's not Wikipedia. Shut up. Heavy rain is an adventure game, fuck off. Yeah. What's that? do you agree with that statement, Norman? <laughs> Touche. Touche. <laughs> Can't argue with the game characters. <laughs> uh, release date in the EU was the 24th of February 2010. Uh, what was the first game in the Arkham series? Arkham Asylum, mate. Now to remember how to spell Asylum. There we go. Alright, so that was 2010. And was Arkham Asylum was 2009. <gasps> Interesting. Plot twist. Orchid pollen. Something the killer couldn't control. Can it be traced back to its source? A strange character that Blake didn't seem too pleased to see me. Blake doesn't seem like a pleasant person in general, Norman. Let's be honest here. The body got scratched. Right Seems like a bit of a prick. There may be more traces of blood around here. Way too many people here. They're trampling all over the crime scene. Contrary to what Blake would tell you. It's 
stepping all over my precious crime scene plate. Can you get them off? That's pretty cool. You can see all the individual footprints. That's some high-ass level of detail right there. Hello. Ooh. Harry Connor. The traces of blood on the fence behind the railroad line. It comes from the victim. The killer came this way with the body and probably grazed it on his way through the fence. It's all coming back. I'm remembering things like out of order. Just like the storyline of um Beyond Two Souls, actually. <laughs> More on that at a later date. He slid down on his bum. <laughs> what a silly bugger. <laughs> I hope there's unlimited tries for this, because I want to see him, like, completely drenched. Uh, I think the square ones are the ones you hold down. Okay. Yeah, I, I see the bar filling up. Then i got to hold down triangle. Triangle, yeah. Then R1. Oh, bloody hell. You're lucky I've got like two hands here. Well, once the once the first set of symbols disappears, you can move on to the second set. Which... Oh, thank God. Oh no, there's more! Get one of these. Maybe just wear some shoes with better grip, you know what I'm saying? No! No, he went slippy slidey! Oh, did he go all the way down? Oh. There was a checkpoint. Oh. It's just a bit awkward, is all. Checkpoints in my climbing mini games. There you go. Now it's a let's play. No, I pressed R one instead of R two. I thought I was gonna. I thought I was gonna fall all the way back down. Rookie mistake. Ha! Success. And then he turns around and he sees the origami killer who like. Pumps him back down the hill. We're basically at the end of this now. Just keep scanning and checking for clues. There's a good chance that they're the killers. Got it memorized. tracks on the side of the boat behind the railroad line. It may be the killer's car. I think I've seen all there is to see. Well, the game's telling me to fuck off, so I will oblige. <laughs> well, you mean you're just going to leave the mutant stuff behind? There could be, you know, turtles in that sewer. <laughs> that was amazing! Just flipped off a car. I'm so easily impressed. That's probably why we're playing these games. <laughs> That's what we're here for, folks. Because they're certainly novel. Oh, oh, shit, shit, fuck! Oh, oh, you, oh, oh, ooh, ooh! I so wanted him to go all the way down. Yeah, I know, right? In fact, I'm just going to purposely fail this one. Later, asshole! <laughs> <laughs> it's harder to memorise than the stampede level in Lion King. <laughs> okay, that was attempting to go back up the hill, okay. It's the flail that gets me. <laughs> There's no consequence for it, so why should I care? Gee, Narman, you look like shit. Well, your mum's a hooer. <laughs> She's a lady of the evening. <laughs> Don't judge me, okay? I may be pouring clothes, but I'm rich in friends. <laughs> Apart from Blake, because he's a twat. Blake is what we would consider a forced acquaintance. And I think we all have a few of those. Yeah. It's a shame there's no fire truck nearby. Why? Eh, no reason. If any of this rain was a bit heavier, I could use it as a shower. <laughs> oh, that was both successful and highly embarrassing. I'm going to quit the FBI and open a bakery or something. <laughs> Heavy raisins. That's what I think I'll call it. 
<laughs> that is the sound of one who is done. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, Tom, I love working with you, but sometimes! One of these days, bang, zoom, straight to the job centre. 